Hey and welcome back to the Jazzy Nation. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the Jazzy Nation family. I'm so happy that you decided to stop by. For those of you that have been with me since the beginning, thank you so much for coming back and saying hi. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I maintain my cornrow styles. If you haven't seen the video that I previously did, the previous hair video, where I showed you how I installed these braids, make sure you check that video out before you watch this one so go and then come back and then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing because obviously that's what happened you weren't subscribed anyways in that video i did my braids and it's been about a week and a half or so maybe a couple days more and for me even though on the surface my braids look really really nice i am a little anal when it comes to my hair for me, it's always been really important for me to know how to do my own hair because the amount of time that I require to redo my hair is a little more than somebody probably has time for. So I make sure that I figure that out for myself and that's what I'm going to show you all how to do in this video. The first step for me um, when it comes to preserving or maintaining my hair is actually moisturizing and so again I'm just talking about the cornrows I do have box braids in the back and we're going to preserve the cornrows but it still means that we take care of all of our hair so the way that I like to moisturize is I take a spray bottle and I will have either just water or my leave-in conditioner mix in the spray bottle and that's what I use to spray my hair every night or every other night depending on what I feel like my hair needs. When I do that, I then follow up with some sort of sealant. So if that's an oil, depending on if I feel like my hair doesn't need too much product, I might just use an oil or I might use a pomade like I have here. I have this pomade that I absolutely love. I got it from Carol's daughter. Um, and all the stuff rubbed off so that's what this is in here and I like to use it even though it is a little heavier of a product I find that it is still very um, manageable and it doesn't give me a lot of product buildup because it does melt pretty well into my hair if I don't want to use something that's this heavy then I'll probably use like a grapeseed oil or argan oil or a mix of a bunch of different oils and just you know seal my hair because if you just do your moisturizer and that's it your hair is not going to feel good when you take out your braids so basically we're trying to preserve the hair that we have underneath even while we're wearing a protective style what i find with the Kanekalon hair is that it is extremely drying and it can suck the moisture out of your hair so you have to be actively moisturizing your tresses while they're still being protective. It's kind of a weird concept, but it works. So the maintenance routine that I do for my cornrows usually happens at night because I just cannot have a lot of wetness going on with myself during the day and at work and all of that stuff. My hair just doesn't dry fast enough, so I have to moisturize and seal and then lay down my edges at night, which is why my edges are not laid down because I have not done it yet. When you lay down your edges, you could either use an edge control like this one here. I actually do not like this one. It doesn't really work well for me. But what I do prefer is to use more of a gel kind of consistency. And this works for now. This is what I have. I don't have like equal style or anything like that here. I wish I did. But this is what I prefer. If my hair is frizzy, I just take like a little dollop and I put that throughout all of my hair. And then, after all of that work, I will therefore tie my hair down. So I'll put on a wave cap like this. And then I'll put on my headscarf like this. And that way I get like extra duty. Everything is compressed and pressed down. So what happens if you want to keep your braids in for two weeks or more if you're not like an itchy person like I am? If that's the case, maybe a week and a half, your braids are starting to look a little raggedy, you can actually redo your braids. And I suggest that you redo the ones around the perimeter. And for me, you know, I would do these. I actually already did these too. And then I would do like a little statement like the statement braids, like the ones that pop out the most. So like this one could use some work, 
This one in the middle is very fuzzy um, and it can use some work. So I recommend that you rebraid if you can and you get a little more extra time out of your style. And for me with the box braids here, I'd also go and just probably redo the perimeter in the back as well just to make sure that everything is seamless, especially if I do want to wear my hair up in a ponytail or something like that. I think that's it for my tips. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want to see any other videos from me, especially regarding hair, make sure you leave your suggestions down below. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!